Hello everyone, Mario from 2004 here, and before this review video starts, I would like to say that I am not going to use a lot of clips in this review video, because I don't want to risk copyright. I'll only use like one clip in this review video, and that's it. So yeah, let's start today's review. And today's review, we are going to look at one of the best films I've ever seen, and that is Stuart Little. Now, what I really like about this film is the story that the film has, because um, it's all about like the little family trying to look for another son to be to adopt. So when they went to like to the adoption place, they found a mouse called Stuart, and then Stuart was actually taken to the house, and then there was um. Stuart had to try to like get on with um with their son George. And at first, they I don't think they really got on with each other because I feel like it reminds me of one of those movies where certain characters don't get on with each other at first, but in the end they actually click. Sort of reminds me of Toy Story a bit. Another thing I actually like about this film, and this is like my favourite scene from the whole film, but I'd say it'd be the um the climax scene where they're all like doing the boat race. And this has got one of my favourite quotes in it, which I am gonna play the clip for it right now. Hey, that's cheating. You can't do that. Well I just did. <laughs> oh yeah, when I first heard that quote, I absolutely died with laughter. <laughs> that's that quote's the reason why. The boat race scene is like one of the best scenes in like the whole film. <laughs> Sorry about that, everybody. I had to um recover after that big laughter I did. But anyways, I am aware there is a second Stuart Little film. And what are my opinions on it? Well, I haven't got any because I haven't seen the film yet. But whenever I watch, whenever I get the chance to watch it, I will review it. So, yeah, I haven't seen this one yet. I will get on to the part about the things that I don't like about the film, but since I don't have any issues with the film whatsoever, I'm just going to leave it as it is. But what do I actually think of Stuart Little overall? It's an absolute classic, even though I only watched it in, like, 2023, when it aired on ITV2 at the time. No, ITV1. Yeah, yeah, I don't know ITV1. My mistake. Uh, so, yeah. I know they did, like, a couple more films. Like, they did the third one, which I haven't heard a lot of people talk about. I don't know if it's good or bad or not. There is also, there's the uh, second Stuart Little film, which I haven't seen yet. And I'm curious what that's like. Is it is that, is the second film better than the first one, or... Or is it just as good? I don't really know. You can comment down below what you think of it, if you want to. And that concludes it for this review. I'm deeply... Now, before I do end this video, I would like to apologise to everyone if this is a short review. Because even though I really like Stuart Little as a really good film, there's not really that much to say about it. Because, like, the f I don't know if it's just me, but... If a film's that good, that's just not really too much to say about it. Or if anything, I like... Like, when it comes to, like, something that I like, and if I want to talk about it, I just don't really have a lot to say about it. And I don't know why, but, oh, well, it's just me, I suppose. So, hopefully the next review video I will have a lot more to say about. So, all I'm going to say is thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in whatever next video I film. Bye! Thank you.